All right, welcome back to a practice voiceover. I am practicing some Paraguayan music today. It's for a string quartet. The third movement is in three, but feels more like it's in two. A couple of the things that are challenging, there are really quick Pitts Arco transitions. Um, the triplets are separate bowed, so we have a triplet on a slur, and then we have a separate eighth right after, but it can't feel too separate. It needs to feel like it's still part of that motive without being on the same bow, and it has to go really fast. Triplet needs to speak evenly. funniest things about watching these back is seeing how obsessive practicing tends to be and when you're working on something tiny and you want to get it a certain way it's so easy to do it again and again and again and I think it's a good reminder for me to take a little space when I am practicing something and stop playing and actually think about what I'm doing. I've realized this is easiest going quickly from third to first, and I forget I have 50 pencils on my desk, and it takes me a second to find one. These runs are supposed to be pianissimo. I'm kind of annoyed watching this back that I practiced it under tempo, but at a much louder dynamic than what's called for. I'll definitely adjust that in my practicing today. When I practice just single notes like that, I'm trying to remind my arm of what it's supposed to do, regardless of what the left hand is doing. Yes, I finally found the rhythm to use to make these triplets more even. We are going to start hearing me obsess a little bit over this string crossing that I am rushing. And I think I finally solved this issue a little bit later on, but it took me a bunch of tries. I think that putting an accent on the beginning of beat two, even if it's just a mental accent, helps me to not rush that string crossing. This is uh, near the end of my very short recording session. I squeezed this in between my last two lessons of the day. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.